Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, F Sheikh Excel Master, and I'm your friend Faraz Sheikh. And today we are going to learn how to highlight the active cell, row, and column together. Uh, this is an excellent question which I read it on Facebook, and I'm very excited to share the video on this one. So let us quickly see how are we going to do that. Uh, we have a set of data. This is very helpful, my friends, when you have a large set of data and you like to highlight them. Uh, usually people highlight them by holding the rows or by just giving them some colors. So, but today what we are going to do is with the help of the active cell, we are going to highlight the rows and the columns. So we are going to write a very small code in VBA and then with the help of the conditional formatting, we are going to highlight the rows and the columns. So with the help of the VBA code, we are going to track the active location of the cell, the row number and the column number. So we are going to get that one and we are going to pick up the value from here and place it in the conditional formatting which will highlight the rows and the columns. We are going to define the name of the cell and so we will call it as a row number, row number, number and this one we are going to call it as a column number. There is a different method to write, uh, to define the cell uh, name but this is the easiest way. Uh, you can even go to formulas and go define names. You can do it that way as well but this is the easiest way. So now once you have defined the names, now you need to go to developer and how to activate the developer tab I have shown it in my previous video so you can see that and uh, once you select the developer tab you need to select visual basic once you open the visual basic it will open a VBA editor and you need to select the sheet which you want to add this formula so once you select this is my master sheet I'll select the worksheet once you select this worksheet, now we are going to write a very, very small code, which is column number, close bracket, equals to active cell dot row, oh, sorry, column and row number. This is basically the cell reference, what we have uh, given, define the name of the cell. So it will store that data, active cell dot row so here we have it that's it this is a very simple two lines code as you can see over here it started uh, counting the rows and the active cell row and the column number now with the help of the conditional formatting we'll go manage we are going to create a new rule we are going to use the formula equals to row and we are going to say A4 because A4 is the cell we want to start from equals to row number. We're going to select format. We're going to fill the cell value. We're going to take the green color and I would like to have it bold and a red color. Yep. Okay. So here we have it. But still we need to set the range now. We are going to manage it. We are going to say edit rule, oh sorry, we are going to apply it to this range. You can extend the range, you know, you can you can keep it till 14 or how long is your data, you can uh, extend that range. But my data is still 13, so I am going to set it 13, apply, here we have, as you can see, it had highlighted the row. Now same way we are going to do it for column. So equals to new formula equals to column A4 equals to column number format cell fill is green color font should be bold and uh, red color yep. okay and we are going to set the same range so I'm just going to copy this range and paste it over here or you can even just go and select it now apply 
boom here we have so as i am moving my cell with the help of the arrow keys you can see it is highlighting the data and uh, it is very helpful when we have a large set of data and to do some analysis it is just not restricted to the font you can even put any kind of conditional formatting you can go here manage like suppose columns you want it to make it a different color or italic you can select it and apply here we have it so you can see so columns will be in italic sometime my friends uh, you will come across like uh, it has selected uh, it will be not showing the range so just make sure that in uh, formula this range this column should be a4 the place from where we are starting it you know so usually if some people come across and uh, they don't find it it's working because the column number the range of what we have selected the cell range is not showing correct so this will be the always be the problem so uh, it makes sure that it should be a4 and the range has been properly set from a4 to the cell since we have written a macro uh, we have written a code in this sheet so this once you try to save this file it will give you an error saying that this file is having a VBA project and you cannot save it and if you press it yes okay and uh, it will not save the VBA code it will just save the conditional formatting so to do that you need to go file save as Excel query and you need to select XLSM format which is in macro enable format so it will save the project and whenever you will open the file it will be always active a soft copy of this uh, Excel file will be available on my Facebook group you can download it from there and uh, you can use it for your education and training purposes I hope you guys you like this video so please share this video push a like button subscribe to my channel and I'll be keep posting more further videos on condition formatting and signing off for today your friend Prashik from F Shake Excel Master